Hello, my name is Wayne Pepper and I'm going to provide today an overview of what's happening in Seagrave panel A3. A3 covers transmission and distribution equipment. The scope of A3 is responsible for the theory, design and construction of equipment used in substations. Mainly um, outdoor substations you'd find our equipment such as switching equipment, surge arresters, capacitors, bushings, insulators, instrument transformers. We don't cover power transformers and we don't cover GIS in indoor substations. The areas of interest for A3 are innovative technologies, requirements for equipment in changing network conditions, incorporation of intelligence in equipment, new and improved testing techniques, mitigation methods for overstressing and overloads, amongst other things. The main technical challenges are the three Ds that have been highlighted through C Gray. That is decentralization, decarbonization, and digitalization. So we're looking at the impact of renewable generation, looking at environmental and climatic impacts, sustainability and life cycle for equipment, digitalization and automation of equipment, sensors and data analytics, and asset management and condition assessment. So from all these areas, new working groups are, are being looked at to uh, look at these areas. The main trends currently with A3 type equipment involve um, increasing ratings, higher voltages and lower voltages as well. Um, local gen generation, more offshore generation, how we can use equipment in wind turbines, generator circuit breakers involved with wind turbines, the environmental con concerns with SF6 and what are we going to do with alternatives to SF6 and that includes developing high voltage vacuum switch gear. Digitalization um, with digital substations and 61850 communications. DC technology, the more DC networks coming along and fast drive technology which involves fault current limitation. So what did we do this year? This year's big item was the Paris virtual session in August this year. A3, um, for A3 we had a tutorial on the state of art of DC circuit breakers in tr transmission. So what's happening in the DC circuit breakers, it's the, the tutorial involved with that. There was a workshop involved with SF6 free alternatives um, involving uh, the B3 panel as well. The, we had a, a, uh, a technical session. We had two four hour sessions of online contributions. Um, these contributions were a response to a special quarter qu questions to papers that were written for the 2020 Seagrey session. From this, we had 34 contributions. Um, the sessions were split into eight topic areas from which uh, we had three original preferential subjects. So I was involved with this, the virtual session. I was a special reporter and a moderator for two topic areas, which was the instrument transformers and equipment reliability. So the big things that came out of the, the contributions at the technical session was um, there was 11 contributions on non-FC6 alternatives. So this is a big area where we've got a, uh, companies looking at equipment development and trials and with tests on with equipment using non FC6 alternatives. Also uh, DC circuit breakers and non-conventional instrument transformers, the use of these are increasing. So what was delivered this year? One technical brochure was, uh, was released, it's technical brochure 830, 830. The green books, we've still got the green book, the A3 green book was produced in uh, 2018, um, which covers switching equipment. We've got a second edition being planned uh, with additional content and that's um, been written at the moment. And A3 was involved with the green book on the electricity supply systems of the future and that was published in August last year. There was also a webinar 
put out, um, and that was on shunt reactor switching, and that's available for viewing on EC Grey. For the Australian A3 panel, we had our annual meeting within the last four weeks. We had two online meetings. Um, the main discussion points on these, our meetings, we discuss what's happening in Seagray from the study committee uh, point of view, what's happening there, um, the study committee meeting, the Paris session and working group activities. Um, the panel members provide utility reports and supply reports, um, and these cover new equipment, aging equipment, risk assessments, equipment failures, equipment failure investigations, procurement issues, and other items. We had a session of presentations by our members, and they included instrument transformer failures, SF6 management, maintenance activities, latest advances in equipment, and equipment spares part management. We also have a list of key focus areas which we work on across the year. In terms of working group from our members, we have four members on working groups. I'm involved with working group A342, which is failure analysis of instrument transformer incidents. Uh, we have two members on the working group A343, which is looking at life cycle management of transmission and distribution equipment. And that's basically building a health index for, um, for high voltage equipment. And we also have a member on A346, which is looking at generator circuit breakers. And this, not, this also includes circuit, generator circuit breakers for renewable state situations. Here, and on this page, we have a list of key focus areas for A3. So the, the key focus areas are medium voltage switchgear. We all utilities seem to have aging uh, medium voltage switchgear, and we uh, need to keep operating. Um, there's, we also look at SF6 leak mitigation. We also have issues with explosive failures of instrument transformers, so we keep a track on what's happening with that. We also look at adoption of new equipment technologies with, uh, within Australia and New Zealand. And also a new focus area we've come across recently was equipment spares. So this meeting brings to the end of my convenership of the A3 panel for Australia and New Zealand. Over the last six years, I've accomplished the following. I've attended the Paris sessions in 2016 and 2018, attended the A3 study committee meetings and colloquiums in Winnipeg in 2017 and Bucharest in 2019. I was the A3 poster session convener and assistant special reporter for Paris in 2018. I was special reporter for the E session in 2020 and the virtual session in 2021, where I was moderator for two subject areas. I received the Seagray 2020 E-Session Pioneer Achievement Award for efforts in the 2020 E-Session. I've been involved with organising and chairing the local A3 meetings over the last six years. I've provided contributions to the technical sessions in 2016 and 2018 in Paris. And, and these contributions were based on the example sourced from local panel members. It's involved with a, a finding a case study for the upcoming C1 Green Book on Asset Management. It's involved with the current working group for the fourth Equipment Reliability Survey. I'm a member of the A3 Working Group 42 on Instrument Transformer Failure Investigations. That's still ongoing. So I'd like to, to have a big thank you to everybody involved over the last six years from uh, Seagray Australia, um, my fellow Australian panel conveners, has been really great support, and also the A3 panel members themselves who've uh, been been through a lot as well with me. So it's been a great experience over the last six years. So the new convener for A3 going forward will be David Pitter, and he's the principal engineer substations and high voltage switchgear from PowerLink in Queensland. So David has been a member of the panel since 2013. So thank you. Um, if there are any questions, 
please um, email me or ask at the end of the session. Thank you. Bye.